Hey guys, this is Goronator here, and welcome to Gore's Weekly Recap for the week of April 18th, 2016. Even though this is two days late, I am indeed recording this on a Wednesday because I missed Monday's usual deadline for these Gore's Weekly Recap videos, uh, and then didn't have time to actually make it for yesterday. So, you guys are getting a Wednesday's Gore's Weekly Recap instead, uh, which of course I'll do more details on why I missed a day of uploads in just a moment. But anyway, guys, hopefully your day, week, whatever has been okay. Hopefully your Monday went okay. Hopefully your Tuesday and Wednesday went okay. If it didn't, you guys know what to do. Hashtag fuck and then the day's name in the comments below. We usually do hashtag fuck Mondays, but seeing as it's not a Monday, we may get some hashtag fuck Wednesdays in there instead. But anyway, my Wednesday has been pretty fantastic. Not going to lie, it's a pretty good day today. First and foremost, the weather was phenomenal here in England. It was nice and sunny today. Wind made it a little bit chilly at points, but for the most part, nice and sunny, which uh, is nice to see for a change. Uh, and then I also finished college a little bit earlier. I usually have a half day on Wednesday anyway at college, only two lectures to go to. Um, but the second lecture, we may have left a little bit early, me and my friends, due to the fact that we weren't actually in class. We turned up for class um, and the teacher said, get on with your short single camera film projects. Now, me and my friends couldn't really do anything in the way of filming or editing. So instead, we asked if we could go into town and buy some props. Um, and sh she said yes. So we went and once we did that, we kind of didn't go back to class. We may have got food instead and then got earlier buses and trains home. I don't think she'll be too happy about that if she finds out, but hopefully she won't. She, she may ask why we didn't turn back to class, but we could probably come up with something. Who knows? We'll, we'll deal with that when the time comes to it. But anyway, yeah, I got to go home early, so that was great, of course. Now, perfect timing, actually. Got home early, about five minutes after I got home. And this is probably the highlight of the day. My Banepool t-shirt and poster turned up. So I ordered some new Total Biscuit merch. For those of you who don't know, Total Biscuit is a YouTuber, which I massively look up to absolutely love that guy's my favorite youtuber and uh whenever he does a limited run of merch which is he doesn't really have a schedule for it it's just you know whenever he comes up with a cool design for his stuff um he'll do like a limited run maybe for like 30 days you can buy it or something like that and then you can't buy it no longer um so i always buy stuff at least from this point onwards um i've always been buying his merch because well one i think it's fucking awesome and two he is my favorite youtuber after all so i do like to support him in any way i can when i do have the disposable income to do so uh but yeah my bane pool shirt and poster turned up it's basically deadpool but in total biscuit fashion if you like it's got a top hat on and a little goatee um and it's kind of made up of different iconography that kind of links to total biscuit in a way with it uh, like pc gaming and stuff with like fans and fps counters and stuff like that so anyway really love the design got another poster to uh well yeah i need to order the frame first but i need to put that up at some point um but yeah then i also tweeted a picture of me wearing the shirt and poster to Total Biscuit and also Jenna Bain, his wife, and uh, she actually replied to that, so that was fucking awesome as well, really happy about that, got acknowledged, <laughs> if you like, uh, I'm sure most of you guys had that feeling before if you tweeted at a YouTuber or just anybody you look up to, um, and you know, you like their work from and stuff like that, and they reply, it's, it's such a good feeling, <laughs> um, so yeah, overall, it's been a pretty good day, also recorded BritBox and now recording this, that's two videos done, um, so yeah, overall pretty productive, pretty good day, happy about that. But anyway, why did I miss a day of content? That's pretty much the only thing I've got to tell you guys about today. Um, so I didn't upload on Monday, and that was because I purely just didn't have time to do both things. I could either get stuff ready to film on Tuesday, because on Tuesday I was filming my short single camera film with my friends, so I need to get all the props and just gather everything ready for the following day. Or I could have made a Gulls with the recap, and of course I need to get the college stuff done because it was filming the following day. So I decided to do that instead. So I do apologize for that. I didn't have time to do both. Um, so yeah, I did miss a day indeed. Hopefully that isn't a massive thing to you guys. Hopefully that isn't massively disappointing to you. I, I upload plenty. I'm sure there's plenty of content um, to go around. And if you guys missed any videos, you know you could have caught up on stuff and such like that. Uh, but yeah, you know you're still getting your goals with your recaps. So only fans of this particular series, you're still getting it this week. So it's not that big of a deal, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, filming went 
pretty good on uh, on Tuesday. Uh, got to go to kind of like a privately owned forest. We contact this guy uh, a couple weeks beforehand, and he, had, to my surprise, actually, he um, was completely fine with us filming there. He even let us like light a campfire because I needed a fire for one of the scenes. Um, and obviously, in like public forests, you can't really do that. Um, but yeah, he, he was completely fine with it. No one was there, so it was super quiet, easy to film. Spent the whole day there filming, and uh, overall, it went pretty well. We did have a few casualties, though. JPN got ash in his eye because uh, we just sat on the fire filming a scene, and you know, the fire, uh, a fire will like crackle um, occasionally, and you know, like spit up some ash. It actually landed directly in his eye, so that wasn't great. That must have been quite painful, um, but. We did have water at hand, so he's able to kind of, you know, cool his eye down if you like and wash it out. And then right at the end of the day, thankfully, it happened then, so uh, we managed to get Tom home in time. Um, I made some sugar glass bottles, and we used all the good ones where they were like a good consistency. Um, as in, you know, they're quite thin, so they're safe to smash over people's heads. We used them, and we're throwing them for one of the scenes at Tom's head. And uh, we missed with the good ones. So then we had the my early experiments left, if you like. And they were really thick at the bottom where I hadn't tipped out all the sugar glass from the mold. Um, and basically it cracked Tom's head open. <laughs> It wasn't as bad as it sounds. It looked as bad as it sounds like there was blood dripping everywhere um, And I was genuinely scared. I thought I would have to call an ambulance for Tom um, But no, he was fine. It's just like a tiny little cut on his head. There was a lot of blood um, But yeah, he was fine in the end. So that was all right. So yeah, that was that was pretty much why I missed a day of content um, Yeah, I guess we we'll move on to video of the week I don't really have anything else for you guys this week So it may be a relatively short episode who knows I can usually find something to ramble on about um, when need be uh, so yeah this week's video of the week would have to be two Brits play Fallout 4 part 2 um, of course I absolutely love recording and editing two Brits play videos a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy them and this week was no exception a lot of you guys uh, were saying that you really enjoyed this particular two Brits play so in case you guys haven't seen it yet feel free to go and check it out I hate that light Oh, it's so bright in your it's face. Annoying. Just in shoot it out then. You probably can, to be fair. Nope. Maybe not. <laughs> Physics haven't uh, gone quite that far yet with this game. Oh, double barrel shotgun. Thanks. Lovely. Take that. Oh, I'm now overcome. Uh, oh, wait. What? Sorry. I'm sorry, you're what? Over, over, hey. over, uh, <laughs> over, over, over. Uh, I don't know how to say it. How... Cumbered. Cumbered. <laughs> Overcome. <laughs> <laughs> How do I give him just all my junk? And also we used a new microphone setup for that. So basically uh, I ordered a Rode Video Mic Me, which is a little shotgun microphone that attaches to my phone via the headphone jack. Um, so Mac used that one. I used my Blue Yeti. And I think overall the audio quality is a lot better rather than having to share a microphone or... Um, on the previously most recent Tubers plays, that makes sense. Uh, in Tubers play Fallout 4 Part 1, for example, the audio was very, very echoey because um, both mics picked me up, so it sounded terrible. Uh, but now with two directional microphones, we kind of sorted that out. So hope you guys are liking the be liking the better quality as well. Moving on to comments of the week, reading some of your guys' comments that particularly stood out to me or made me laugh or whatever. The first one here. I feel like I need to address this. I believe I brought this up in maybe another Gauls of the Recap or maybe on BritBox, something like that. But basically, this guy called Clegster Gaming, who's been around my channel for quite some time, actually. I don't know why he keeps saying this or why he's being <laughs> slightly weird. Um, but yeah, he keeps saying stuff about how he'd love to see my face and stuff like that. And I've already posted uh, a video of my face on the channel. I did a little vlog for i57. Um, so... It was just a little weird that he kept saying it. And it keeps getting more extreme every time. Because he keeps mentioning it in every video. And it's got to a point <laughs> where he's calling me dad. You know you've reached YouTube fame when people start calling you dad. In the YouTube comments on your videos. <laughs> so Clegster Gaming says, Fuck, I love your fucking voice. And I bet I would like, no, love your face. And then I replied, this shit keeps getting weirder and weirder because it truly does. And then Clester Gaming says, you know, like it, dad. Obviously, his grammar isn't great there. That is one criticism I like to make. But yeah, this guy, I don't know what he's like doing. He's like trolling the fuck out of me or something. He keeps <laughs> saying, I'd like to like, he would love my face. And uh, I don't know. But anyway, Clester, 
you've truly weirded me out, man. Cheers for that. Um, next one here is from Prezi Gaming. A little bit more of a down-to-earth comment, I guess. He or she says, found you off tip videos, and I love the channel, man. And I just bought some stickers to make my laptop look cool. And I feel you with the fuck Mondays. College life is tough at times. It definitely is. To be honest, uh, my Monday is usually pretty good, as you guys are probably familiar and with me saying now on this Ghost with the Recap series. Um, but, you know... Mondays are still like the worst day of the week. I still have to be all day at college, even though they aren't bad. Um, yeah, then they're, they're not great, and for most people, they aren't great either. Um, but yeah, Prezi Gaming, thanks for sticking around. I'm glad you're enjoying the tip videos. Hopefully, you are getting some kind of a use out of uh, my YouTube advice videos. I assume they are. Next one here is from a long term guy on the channel, Danza. HD. Awesome videos, Gore, as usual. Your dedication is inspiring, man. Keep it up, my friend. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate the comment. Next one here is from the HR, or HR Gamers. Greater, I heard of you from Zyro, and I've been watching you since, man. You deserve way more subs. Thank you, the HR. Thanks for coming along and checking out my channel. And, um, yeah. That, that's very kind of you to say that I deserve more subs. This one here is from the Avenger PR, who says, You deserve a lot more subs, man. What might do you use and what do you use to record with and what effects? Thank you, the Avenger PR, once again for saying that I deserve more subs. That is very kind of uh, you guys to say. Now, just to answer these questions, I obviously did reply to the comment there, but for anybody else that is wondering, because that is one of the more frequent questions, I think most YouTubers get asked that if they have a good audio uh, or just like a, a decent microphone setup that is usually what they'll get asked so I use a blue Yeti microphone um, and it's actually attached to a Rode PSA 1 studio boom arm which is just like a fancy metal swivel arm if you like I can move it wherever I want I can move it away like so I can move it up and down all over the place and stuff like that that probably sounded terrible in your guys ears but I'm trying to give an audio example um, I also have a dual layer pop filter in front of that I don't know if a dual layer one is any better than a regular just normal pop filter it was a bit more expensive um, but I guess you know in terms of physics like that would make sense that it's a bit better at reducing you know P's and stuff like that uh, the sharper sounds because there's two layers of fabric rather than one I don't know uh, but I have that on there as well I've actually done a setup tour which shows the exact microphone setup so I'll link that down in the description in case anybody's interested to actually see how it looks at my desk and how I like recording stuff like that um, I for consoles I use an Elgato game capture HD that's like the first Elgato game capture device nothing too fancy uh, but it gets the job done for good quality 1080p 30 FPS recordings or 720p 60 FPS recordings. PC recordings, uh, which I do occasionally do, I use uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play to screen capture because that does really good quality and it doesn't really affect performance on my PC too much, especially when I'm playing games. That is quite vital. Um, and I don't really know what you mean in terms of effects. I think he means by that like color corrections and stuff like that at least that's what i interpret it as which i have done a separate video on which is quite popular actually it's in the thousands of views uh one of the more popular youtube advice videos um so that's something else i can link in the description if you guys are interested in that but anyway guys that's the comments for this week finally what is coming up on the channel this week, Josh. Well, let me tell you. So, uh, we are kind of halfway through the week, so you've kind of experienced most of it already. You guys will be getting BritBox tomorrow, as I have, as I did mention earlier. I have already recorded that today. It's actually a slightly longer episode, so for those of you that were asking for longer episodes, hopefully we'll enjoy number 26. Um, there will probably be Gore Plays Far Cry Primal on Friday, um, because I don't really have time to edit anything too fancy plus I haven't really done a gore plays Far Cry Primal in quite some time now I, I, I'm really bad at doing full playthroughs like at the start you know I can pump out you know like daily content of a single game but then especially if it's a really big large expansive open world game such as Far Cry Primal with a lot of things to do um, it's not that I don't enjoy it it's just I don't really have time to get it all done so I might have to do the same as I did with my kind of Fallout playthrough is just cut it off at some point. Um, that will probably be some point soon. Like Firewatch was the perfect length for me doing like a full playthrough because it was very short. I managed to pump out the full game in uh, two to three days. I believe I got all that out. If I'm ever going to do more like more full playthroughs on the channel, then it definitely needs to be more smaller scale games such as Firewatch and stuff like that. I really need to stop 
you know, doing full playthroughs of AAA. I can still do gore plays, um, you know, like a few parts here and there, more one-off videos rather than actually, you know, trying to complete the game because I'm never going to do that. I never complete AAA open world games anymore because I really don't have time. YouTube takes up a lot of my time. Um, on Saturday, it'll probably be uh, some more Doom open beta gameplay, recording a bunch of that with Grub. JPN and Sky, so you can expect more of that. And uh, finally, on Sunday, it'll be Two Brits Play, Fallout 4 Part 3, probably, if I can get it edited in time. I do have to go back to work this weekend, um, but either way, I should still be able to get that done. Anyway, guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this from myself. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.